at the campground. <laughs> I oh. have my sewed my things. And also because I am very creepy, I have binoculars. Yeah, that's that's awful. Promise he doesn't use the binoculars. It's weird. I just wake up, stare out the window. Okay. Hey everybody, Lojo Outdoors here. We are at the Chincoteague, Virginia Jellystone Campground. Uh, we've never been here before. Matter of fact, last year this was a KOA. What's a KOA? It's a it's a series of campgrounds. Oh. So uh, Yogi Bear Jellystone, they took this campground over. They're taking over a lot of campgrounds, to be honest with you. They're, uh, they're a pretty big thing right now. Um, but anyway, we decided to shoot up here for a, for a couple days on spring break. I feel nervous. <laughs> but uh, we... Uh, okay, that's enough of that. Sit. I have my Among Us book bag part of my necklace. All right, so our campsite, we uh, we rented an RV. We don't own an RV. I'd love to, but we just, we currently don't. And it's still a little cool and it was going to rain, so I didn't want a tent camp. So we rented an RV, which here it is. Let's show, let's show them inside of the RV. All right, Logan wants to show you the inside. Hang on. No showing my kitty. All right, here's the inside. We have my sleeping out. We've got a bunk room. All right. My We've storage facility. A full shower with a small tub, toilet. That is my storage facility. Okay. We've got the kitchen table, dining room table, which messy. We've best, been here. We've been here a whole day. And best best card I get. He's showing you his Pokemon cards. It's got New a full kitchen. Max. We got a full kitchen here. Show Refrigerator and freezer. Microwave. I sleep here. I have my bookshelf. I have my radio. I have my... Oh, I need to show, show you these. It, it is... These are authentically 100% pure gold. 99.9% clear gold. Yeah, 24 karat gold playing cards. We got them right here at the camp store. But this is the couch. Logan decided he'd rather sleep on the couch than in the bunks. That uh, is my storage facility. I would have bet against that. But here's the main sleeping area. Queen size bed. Again, a little messy. We've been here a full day. Logan brought some poppets. That's uh, Fidgets. some kind of among us. All right, let's show you the outside. All right, here's our camper. It's not huge, but it's nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's 100 bucks a night, I think it was. Can't really beat it. Like I said, it's spring break. A little chilly, a little rainy. We didn't want to stay in a tent. But each one of them comes with this deck. You get your, your table and chairs, fire ring, outdoor grill. It's tough to beat this for a hundred bucks a night. You don't see the campground? <laughs> yeah, so it's hard to beat this for a hundred bucks a night, guys, to be honest with you. Uh, all right, we're going to get on the golf cart and we're going to zoom around and we're going to show you what they got here. Okay. Hello, hello, it is me, Logan. So, as you can see, we're in the RV, there's this, this, this. Here we are in the RV. We're about to show you around. Ready? Ready? By the way, my soul lights up. Probably don't there. Colin. Colin. As you can see, this is the bathhouse. Can you see it? Yes, they can see it. I can see it. It is green and yellow. All right, so if, if the weather's bad, obviously you can use the bathroom in the RV or you can just use it if you want to. But I prefer not to use the bathroom in the shower in the RV because of moisture and you know, smells and things of that nature. But if the weather's nice, you can come out here to the bathhouse. There's several of them in this park. Uh, they're pretty much at the end of every street. All right, we're gonna keep on going here. You are all the houses we could have rented? Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're 
cabins. They have regular cabins. They have deluxe cabins. What are these deluxe? I don't know. I don't think these are deluxe. The deluxe, I think, are down by the water. But these have everything a camper has. It's just like a tiny house right here at the campground. And you can see it's got a concrete patio, table, chairs, umbrella. They're pretty nice. I think it has a table and chairs and an umbrella. Yeah. Powell items, if you can, if you can see all the way over there. All right, this is a whole row of, of cabins here. Logan is pretty shaky on the camera, but we're working through it. I know. Shoo, it's windy. You think it's right, over here, you can see the permanent sites are the seasonal rentals. You see that guy's got a bar set up and a, and a little overhang and, and um, you got a shed there, a couple storage sheds. There's a gazebo. And these are pull-in spots. Over here is another seasonal. Although you got seasonal guys, they got gazebos set up over there for shade. Doesn't Uncle Wyatt have one? Yeah, down in Florida. Alright, here's your maintenance shed with your dumpster right next to that. There's a pond. And I don't know. And I don't know what my dad to get close to. There's a pond. I don't know if there's any fish in there or not. I'll ask around and we'll find out. He saw a small fish. Yeah, there's minnows in there, but you know, who knows? There might be fish in there. I can't see any just from outside, but Show them all the way up here. It's a decent sized pond. All right, over there is a family of geese. There's some ducks in there somewhere. There he is going down to the water. The geese have some goslings. Like I said, springtime, baby season. Look at that little fella in the mirror right there. Boy, that's a weird looking duck. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the pond in its entirety. Decent sized pond. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask, see if there's any fish in there. Who knows, there might be. But here we are back with some seasonal rentals. There's a whole street full of them. And that leads to the bathhouse. Oh, by the way, we want to ask you this. That's where we're going. Fun lad. Yeah, there's a little amusement park right down the road. There's some geese. Up close, hello, hello. There you hello. got a pavilion. You wanna have a party? Those are big. There's some more pull through sites. Big. There's your pavilion. Those are bike pull. All right, here's your deluxe cabins right here. Sorry about this background noise. It's golf cart is squeaky. Sure, sure. So here's your deluxe cabins. They're all vital humans. It's like it's two stories here, which is pretty cool. Nice screened in porch, just like the rest of them. And here you have a fire pit. A bunch of you can sit around and have a fire, maybe even cook some steaks up. That's what we had for we have a crabbing fishing pier. Now last night I came up here and it was raining and the wind was blowing and there wasn't a single bit of water in this, not a single bit at all. So I don't know how good the crabbing and the fishing is off here, but we're gonna figure it out later. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna stop and buy a couple traps and we're gonna try it. Hello. By the way, for breakfast we had steak and scrapple. My dad had eggs in that. If you don't know what Scrabble is, you need to find out. You do. You do very much need to find out. Scrapple is delicious. There are humans. Hello, humans. Logan, like usual, just waving hello to everybody. Yes, that there's is your view. Usual. Sometimes there's water in this. It's not the day. There's a lighthouse. Did you show them the lighthouse or what? I didn't island? show them the lighthouse, but there it is. It's a ways away. Like this a is pile. a little picnic area. More luxury cabins. We 
wish this. I wish this golf cart wasn't so squeaky. That would be awesome. Yeah, but, notice it just is about 50 miles away from our house, right? Yeah. Well, we, uh, we rented this golf cart. It's about 50 bucks a night. Pretty tough to beat that. There's your little picnic area. Every one of them has a fire ring. That's pretty cool. All right, here's a row of yurts. It's basically a, I mean, it's, it's basically a tent that's up off the ground. It's, it's got some beds in it. It's got a little front porch here. We're gonna peek inside, let you see it. There's the inside of one of them. You got a little, like a futon couch, a couple beds, a dresser. It's pretty neat. But with it being chilly, I wanted to have a camper with some heat because this little one gets cold. All right, there's a couple rows of them yurts. There's another bathhouse. That's not the same one we were at. All right, now we're rolling up to the kids' corral. Oh. Logan's hopping out. I lost him. There's a playground with a jumping bouncy pillow on the other side. I don't know what he's doing, but evidently he wants to play with something. And here we are rolling up on the bouncy pillow. I had a feeling that's where he was going to go. And there he is on the bouncy pillow. Never been on one of them, but looks pretty fun. Of course, hate have fun anywhere. So, well, all right, we'll get back on here once he gets done on this pillow. Hello. As you can see in the background, the wind is awful. Yes. Because every time we book a camping trip, it either rains five inches or it blows <laughs> forty. One or the other. <laughs> we don't get any luck when it comes to camping trips. But if the weather's bad, you can't have a fire. Might as well go to the best ice cream shop on the whole island, right here, Island Creamery. Yeah. We got ice I got cream. Double chocolate stuff. He's got a double chocolate shake. All right, we're gonna enjoy this ice cream and try to get out of this wind. We'll see you in a minute. For us, it'll be a while. He's gone. So, it's really windy. You saw we stopped and got ice cream. Got in a fender bender in the parking lot. <laughs> uh, it was a little accident. Tore our bumper up a little bit, but nothing insurance can't take care of. So now, we decided we were in the area. We pulled into the Chincoteague National Wildlife Refuge. Just take a look around. And I'm gonna flip the camera around. This is why we come here, and this is why other people come here. So, give us a look. See out there? That is the wild horses of Assateague and Chincoteague. They're technically the same place. <laughs> uh, close enough, anyway. Logan's looking at them with his binoculars. But that's why people come here. See the ponies, the sick of deer. I haven't seen any of them yet, but we're, we're literally just at the entrance. So who knows what we're gonna see. You got them binoculars on them. Okay, you're funny looking. Well, there you are. We got one, two, Stop three, four, five, yourself. five ponies right here at the entrance. Hey daddy, stop talking about yourself. Ha, ha, ha. All right. If we run into anything else, we will show them to you. More ponies. Shigatig ponies. Let's see if we can. There we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like ten of them down there this time. Eleven. Now I see eleven. All right. That's cool, some more ponies. They're always fun to see. Souvenirs. <laughs> he got a pen 
and a notepad with a pug on it. Yes. And then I got a squash ball. And then I also got a cup. Now I need to show you my cup. Do, do, do not do anything. Do not turn away. No, 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 no. I need to show you my cup. There's one of them Shinkatig ponies. I have my the weirdest cup. child. I know. Aren't you so happy? <laughs> There's another group of ponies right there. Ponies are everywhere. Did, I don't see any deer, though. Did you not see the ponies over there? I don't know. Oh, so we'll keep going. Maybe we'll see some deer. I'm hoping to. So, as we mentioned earlier, the wind just hasn't quit up until now, of course. We're getting a fender bender at Highland Kramer. We're leaving in the morning. It's nothing seemed to go right. So, what do you do when nothing seems to go right? You get some oysters and put them on the grill. They're going to be right. Logan's down at the jump pad. I'm going to go take him a bowl full of them. He's going to be excited. We'll see you guys in the morning. Give you a little recap. All right, see you then. Hello, guys. Hey everybody, just check out day. <clears throat> We're up here at the ranger station, which is basically their, their gift shop and admin office and whatnot. Um, I'm not gonna show you the inside of it. They, they're, all the, they're all the same. Campground gift shops are all the same. They got all the camping supplies and toys and, and, and uh, tourist trap gadgets and gadgets. And, I have probably fifteen. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's what they market at. But uh, but anyway, this this place has a this place has a pool, but it's spring break. It's not open yet. I'm assuming like Memorial Day weekend it'll open up. Same deal with the water park next door. The water park next door actually looks pretty cool. Uh, a lot of big tube slides and and looks like a lazy river and it's it's pretty pretty cool. It's called uh what's it called Maui Jacks. I think so. I think it's called Maui Jacks. You mm -hmm. want to look that up. It's a pretty neat looking looking little uh, water park. Now there's no arcade here, which is disappointing. Um, the fishing pier, we didn't get a chance to go try it. We were going to try to catch some crabs, but we didn't get a chance. Uh, but like I said, we went at low tide one day and there was absolutely, absolutely no water there. So I don't know how it would be any good. Um, I mean, I guess fish swim and crabs crawl, so anything's possible. But it's hard for me to imagine that it's that it's good when there's no water. But maybe we'll come back again when the weather warms up and we'll we'll try it. We'll give it an actual try. Um, as far as anything else, if you just like a nice, quiet sit in the woods around a campfire, then this is a pretty good park. Uh, I mean, we had a good time, even with the lack of amenities. Uh, I mean, I, I'd give it another try. I'd come back when it was warmer. That way we could go to the pool and the water park and and, and give the fishing pier an actual try. Um, but the bounce pillow was pretty cool. It's got a, got a decent little playground. I mean, there's nothing spectacular about this park at all. But... It's still a nice, fun park. And the National Seashore, the, the, the National Park, that was worth coming. I mean, that was $10 for a day pass to get in. And that was worth going through there and walking the trails and seeing the ponies. And I would have liked to seen some deer, but not everything works out all the I time. I wanted to go in the lighthouse. I was trying to find something I could make a lot. I could make a lock pick with, but my dad, but my dad found a nice poem. Yeah, Knucklehead here was wanting to break into the lighthouse. Who does that? But, <laughs> but we're, we're going to put a, a good picture of the lighthouse up on our Instagram page. Go over there and check that out. And also put a poem on our Instagram page. I, I will. But anyway, uh, out of 10, what would you give this park? Out of 10, in the like spring, would... 7. A seven in the spring. That's fair. But the one card I never get a goldfish. 
<laughs> uh, seven out of 10 for a springtime campground, that's fair because there's no water activities. Um, the beaches, I mean, if, if you're brave enough to jump in the ocean in April, then that's fine. I'm not gonna do it. But seven out of 10 is fair because it is a nice campground. It's a well-kept campground. Uh, just not as much stuff to do in the springtime. Now in the summertime, I think I'd give this place a nine. Not having an arcade, that really, uh, that would that would stop it from getting a 10. So, Jellystone, if you're watching this, put an arcade in here. What are you waiting on? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna get going. We're about an hour from home and we're gonna head there. Yes. All right, as always, if you like what we do, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, like the video, we really appreciate it. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Lojo Outdoors.